Hi, this is Ben Jariola, and probably by now you already know that I am not there. Um, I saw the schedule of uh, Morcon 2012, and I am the last presenter. Uh, so, and since I'm not there on the first day, if the schedule went on, you know, as planned, uh, if I am indeed the last presenter and it's already the second day, you still don't see me. Probably you already know by now that um, I'm not flying to the Philippines this year. It's my first absence since 2004. Every year I used to come home. Uh, but this year, I won't be there. But uh, some people had still wanted me to speak at Morcon and they suggested that I do it remotely. One of the biggest challenges that I have whenever I'm going to present this way, and it's going to be my first time to present this way, is I feed off the audience. Um, whenever I present, um, I do have a plan, but my plan is flexible. I could go in different directions uh, depending on how I see my audience. I look at your faces, I like talking to you, and I like walking around. And, and sometimes when uh, I feel like the audience is bored or excited, and I change the tone, speaking in front of the camera without any feedback, I won't see that. So one thing that I'm going to try to do is, hopefully, uh, I keep you awake. I want you to be as excited. I ko talagang exciting ito. Gigisihin ko kayo. Sasayaw ako, gagam ng style ako. <laughs> Basta kailangan, uh, uh, I make you excited so you don't get bored, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna cover a lot of interesting things here, okay? And my PowerPoint, which supposed to, if I do my editing correctly, should appear here. Uh, this is where my presentation is. I'm not sure if uh, you're, you're going to see that correctly, but hopefully it is. Although in reality, my presentation is here on my left and my screen. Um, and that's where I'll be looking at occasionally. So I'm going to talk about the business side of SEO. And just as a brief agenda of what we're going to go through. First thing is I'm going to talk briefly, very briefly, you know, about me, just an introduction. So what are the goals of business? That would be my next topic. And we're going to look at an overview of the SEO industry. There's different types of business models. And aside from that is uh, the next part would be all about selling your services. Other things is the business operations. Now the last part is deals gone bad. I was given one hour for this and it's quite long. So what I've decided is to really cut this into two parts. One is more on the selling the introduction the selling and the next part is more on the SEO operations business so there's two parts uh, that we're gonna tackle we're gonna tackle first the intro and the selling and maybe after that um, we could have like a 30 minute break or something probably uh, you won't want to see my face for one hour you might get tired you might get strained baka magsawa kay sa ano sa mukha ko so tsaka maganda rin mag stretching stretching just magam na style na rin, magam na style after yung first part. And then second part, we're going to go into the uh, business side of it. Okay? Hi again. Nag-iba buho ko, ang iba damit ko. Obviously, hindi ko sinat sa isang araw, iba ibang araw. Today is currently a Thursday, which is Friday in the Philippines. Which means lahat dapat matapos ko ngayon. So, first thing is uh, about my work experience. Definitely matagal na. I've been SEO since 2004, web design development since uh, 1997. My work experience comes from a variety of companies. You know, in the beginning, more of a web designer, web developer that has been making um, uh, SEO friendly websites. So more on the on-page stuff. When I became uh, SEO specialist at Interactivate, then I was working with, um, you know, doing keyword research, uh, uh, you know, keyword mapping, content optimization, um, blogging a little bit, uh, link building, doing submissions and all that stuff from back in 2006. Now in 2007, business online, it was more high level, lots of reporting, lots of presentations, lots of strategy, uh, lots of analysis. Uh, and then all, all the work, I actually pass it down to someone else. Um, and I work with larger clients then. 
And then with Internet Marketing Inc., I'm now a director. It's now even making sure that the company is profitable in the SEO department, making sure that the SEO department is treated like a separate entity and making sure that it makes money, okay? Now, as a freelancer, I've experienced, you know, having my own clients. Now, this is my own clients. It's not through a company. And it, I basically branded it itself as my own company, uh, which I also have registered. And here are some of my clients from Honda, Mazda, and also San Diego Office Furniture, which is a furniture shop here, a decent, good furniture shop here in, in San Diego. Now, I also experience work outsourced to me. Now, there's several agencies out there. There was, uh, what, Castle Advertising, Create Interactive, and also uh, Bailey Gardener. Now, uh, these agencies, basically, they were more web design or web development. Sometimes they had some SEO, but they couldn't handle the overflow of two projects. They passed it on to me. So why am I telling you all of this? Because I just want to show that I do have that experience. Some of you may be freelancers. Some of you may be working in a company. Some of you may be running your own company. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to teach you is supposed to be applied to all. Okay? And I do have that experience working in different situations. And as you know, I do like sharing information. All of you already know that. Most of you know that who are part of the SEO organization. Board. Aside from that, I speak at several conferences, not only in the Philippines, but also in the U.S. You know, there's uh, SC, there's PubCon, SMX, OMS, and San Diego E-Commerce Summit. And there's many more uh, SEO meetup groups that I also speak at. Uh, actually, next month, in October, I'll be speaking at the Online Marketing Summit, OMS, more about Panda and Penguin. And in November, I'm invited to speak at uh, SEO meetup group in San Diego. So... Um, uh, well, so I have three months fully booked, including this one. And then I also contribute in forums, you know, the forum, the SE organization in Philippines. I also contribute at groups on Facebook. Shout out to Sean Patrick C, who is in the audience, who's also one of the speakers. Palakpakan para sa kanya. Yay! Now, he, uh, uh, I also contribute to that in the SEO uh, hacker uh, Facebook group. And there's also other Facebook groups there. You know, uh, I guess the Iloilo SEO organization Philippines chapters in the audience. Yay! Well, basically, I also contribute sometimes on, on that. I answer some of the questions. And Pinoy SEO, maybe Win is there in the audience. Uh, or Ville of SEO, you know, Cebu, who also runs that. Uh, and there's some other groups. I definitely share information. Uh, I share information also on blogs, not only the IMI blog, but also as a guest blogger in other blogs, SEO Monster Search Engine Journal. And I have been interviewed in several places. You know, uh, there's some newspapers, there's some blogs, and there's even a book, The Social Media Bible by Lon Safko. It's available in National Bookstore, also available on Amazon. Uh, shout out to SEO Techie, who's also listed there. He likes doing interviews. He also interviews. I'm also in one of his interviews there. So sharing information, definitely, I like sharing information. Now, another thing that I want to point out about me is with all these contests, and then some, some of you already know this, and I'm not going to go deep into it, but basically, I like joining. I've stopped after some time because it got too busy, and in 2007, basically, I won a brand new car. Now, aside from that, I work with Mary very many large clients you know some some of the brands i listed there caterpillar sony playstation american red cross queen and cartels hilton and so on all these big brands you know tonka what i want to point out is simply that i do have the experience working with methods that work not only in seo but also in the business the planning the operation the strategy and how it was sold and how to make the client happy. And these are things that deals more with the business side. Now, other things I wanna say is, before SEO, I was a web design developer. But before a web design developer, I was a, a teacher. I, I, I taught IT subjects at uh, informatics, a computer learning center. And I've also taught uh, chemistry subjects at La Salta. Uh, at my first job, I was actually a chemist. And looking at my education, it's chemistry related. Graduate of Nobel Chess. And I'm taking up my MBA right now uh, here at University of Redlands in California. Now, do I have a course related 
to SEO? No, because there is no course related to SEO. And in SEO, you normally need some knowledge in marketing, some knowledge in writing, journalism, reporting, some knowledge in IT and computer programming, website design development. None of that is a part of my education. I don't have an IT degree. I don't have a computer science or computer engineering degree. I don't have a marketing degree. I don't have a journalism degree. And I do SEO. Why am I telling you about this? Because you can learn SEO. Now, there might be some novices in here that are sitting down. So I say, oh, newbie ako, wala akong alam. Ang hirap naman ito, ang dami kong babasahin. Saan ako magsisimula? Ano pag-aaralan ko? Just start with one small step at a time. You could learn everything. Okay? As you could see in my educational background, the things I've done, Hindi related to SEO. I learned it myself just by going online, listening to other people, talking to some people, reading some blogs, reading some forums. You could learn this. You just have to learn it one small step at a time. And if you feel overwhelmed, it is because you're trying to learn everything all at an instant. So this is one business lesson right away. Let's say you're a web designer or a web developer, or you're a writer or whatever. You go to Odesk, you find a project. Ako ko to, kaya ko to. Hindi mo talaga kaya. Ang dami mong hindi alam. Akala mo kaya mo, and then biglang natataranta ka. Wah! Paano gawin to? Paano gawin to? Paano gawin ng SEO? It's not that easy to do in an instant. Okay? So my advice is prepare. Prepare well before you do all of this. Okay? So the next thing we're going to talk about is the goals.